I am Aziza and today I'm going to talk about some of my favorite fountain pens. These are the Pilot Parallel Calligraphy Fountain Pens. Now, let me have a set here. Here are two new in box, just so I can show you the box. So what I want to do in this video is talk about the parallels, tell you why I love them, and show you how to ink them with a cartridge a converter and an eyedropper and show you also what's in the box but also what you can do with these parallels and why i think they are some of the best pens you can get especially for 10 12 us dollars i mean that's they're totally affordable and i think they're really accessible to many people not to everyone but to many people and so let's talk about the pilot parallels now I have these two brand new Pilot Parallels from Anderson Pens, but I also have a multiple amount from myself. So here are mine. Let's do the packaging first, shall we? Here is the packaging. It comes in like a plastic blister pack. I like the packaging because it's very simple. I would like to see it in something recyclable. I think there's no sign that this is recyclable, but maybe it is. Um, there's some detail on the pack. It shows you that you can do something with gradients, that you can use the nib for two different strokes. That should say stroke. This is the size of the nib, which is six millimeters. Pilot parallel pen um, with parallel plate nib. So it's not a traditional fountain pen because it doesn't have a traditional nib, but it does have a feed and it is filled by cartridge and converter. So... I mean, just because it has parallel plates doesn't mean it's not a fountain pen. Now, it's very easy to open. It has a sticker on the side. It's not like those blister packs that you get that you have to struggle with. I just need to get the sticker up. Uh, okay, I got it. Okay, so I appreciate that I don't have to battle with the blister pack because I hate those things. So the top lifts off, and this is what you have inside. So now let me show you what you get. You get underneath that, like what I just showed, like the package, you get a very useful little pamphlet. The pamphlet tells you um, it sorry, it, it shows you the accessories that it comes with. It shows you nib sizes and widths of stroke. It shows you how to use those accessories, like the nib cleaner, the ink cartridge, and the little bulb, which I will show you. On the back side, it has some simple guides, your introductory alphabets you can practice, um, and like lettering techniques, and uh, flourishing, like traditional, oh, sorry, uh, simple flourishing. So. I think for a beginner pen, even for experienced users, I think this is very, very useful. It also tells you um, uh, sorry, I, I fell asleep in my brain there. T sorry, it talks about lettering techniques. And one of the other things it talks about is how to do the gradation, which I will show you. Now, the pen comes with this bulb, which you used for flushing the pen. You don't have to use the bulb, but it's it's actually quite convenient. This is the pen. There's your giant six millimeter plate. It is kind of long, like a desk pen, sort of like a brush. And you have a red cartridge and a black cartridge. These are Pilot proprietary cartridges. And you have a little plastic film that you can use to clean your plates. Now, you have a cap. On the top of the cap, you have six millimeter. You know, it depends on what size you have. Now there are four different sizes. This is the largest, six millimeters. The green is 3.8 millimeters. The yellow is 2.4 millimeters. And the reddish is 1.5 millimeters. Now this unscrews. This is your barrel here. It is all plastic. There's no holes in it. This is your section. Now, to clean, you go like this, you put it on here, and you flush water through it. That's one way of doing it. In my case, when I use my parallel for ink reviews, 
I want to make sure it's thoroughly clean so there's no contamination for the next one. And I have been doing this for, I don't know, I've done three, four, five hundred ink reviews by now with the same parallels, which is really amazing. What I actually do is I remove the nib and feet, or the plates and the feet from the section. So it just pulls out and it actually sits quite snugly. It's not going to just fall out on you. So that's great. It's, it's an amazing, an amazing piece. So we are going to switch to a different angle. I'm going to show you how to ink the pen. Um, I'll show you also how to take it apart, put it back together, and so you, like you have an idea of how to clean it, and uh, and that's everything. So we'll see you in a second. Okie dokie. Here I am again with um, some of the goodies that we will require. Now let me just show you the packaging again uh, in a little more detail, or a little, you know, a little easier for me to show you. Um, it opens quite easily. Oh, this actually sits in there. So here is that pamphlet I was telling you about and showing you. Very cool. Here is some of the lettering you can do. Okay, so. Here are the parts. Here's that little washi bulb. Here's the pen itself. And there is the packaging. Let's move that out of the way. Now, let me show you quickly the pen. Very basic. I mean, it's not the most beautiful pen on the planet, but it's very functional, and I actually still very much enjoy them. They're quite comfortable. They do not post, but you don't really need it with this length. Here's where you unscrew to ink it, and to take it apart completely, there's the barrel, there's the cap. Here is your section. It just pulls out this part you can actually remove the plates for really cleaning it thoroughly and you can also pull this part off so there you go if you wanted to use things like shimmery inks and you want to really clean it you can just do this take it apart entirely and um, clean it out thoroughly I had a I had a parallel with a shimmer ink in it I'm just trying to find it there so you can see in the feed it holds shimmer, pull it out, put it in your ultrasonicator, put it in a water bath, shake it around a bit, give it a good flush and you'll be fine. To reassemble, you take your feed and what you wanna do, there's a little notch right here. You wanna line that up with the notch right there and that's the direction it goes. Then you put your plates in. There's a small slit. It'll just fit into the slit. If I can see properly what I'm doing. And it should just push straight in and it'll stop on its own at the back. Put it back into your section. That's it. Super easy. So let me just show you two tricks. One, if you want to clean it with this, you just pick up some water in a in a cup. I don't I don't have one handy, but you go like this, you just put it in here and you just press it to push the ink through and you'll clear it out. So that's one way you can do it if you don't want to take it apart. Very easy to do that. The other thing you can do is, if you have a converter, uh, this is a CON50 converter. You can also use the CON20, which doesn't fit as well. I find the 50 fits better. And there's the new CON40, which will do the same thing. You can also draw up water and flush it through if you want. That's another way to clean it, just by putting it in water and flushing it through. The other thing is this little film. Um, if you want, you can clean your plates, you know, depending on what ink you use, you could just clean your plates by going like this. So you can pull out any ink and fibers and crust or whatever is left over in there. That's a simple way to clean your pen, the nib in specific as well, if you don't want to take it apart. So these are the extra things. I'm just going to move them out of the way because what I will do now is show you how to ink it in three different ways. So we have the convert, uh, sorry, the cartridge. This is the pilot cartridge. It is proprietary, so not any cartridge will fit. It has to be pilot. All you do is you take the nipple side and you will push it into the section until it punctures. And you can see that it has punctured because there is ink movement. It'll take a second for the ink, the capillary action to draw the ink in, but 
In the meantime, let's just cap this and we can show you how to do the next one. I'm just gonna put it like this so we can start to, um, you know, draw some ink through. Now the next thing is we can do converter filling. So I have the converter, I have a pen, I mean, I have an ink. What you do is you take your bottled ink, you take your converter on the section, and you just dip it in up to you reach, uh, sorry, up, up until you reach the end of the section. Now, if you do it too high, you're gonna get a bunch of air bubbles, and that's all. So that's it, you just draw up ink into your converter, and you could just take a paper towel or a towel, your ink towel, whatever you use, wipe off the extra ink. It's almost full, you don't want it too full because you don't want um, the ink to not have any space to move around or expand, so it gives you a bit of space. And then, that's it. So, we have an inked via converter parallel. Let's close this back. Oh, that's the hard part apparently. Last but not least, you can eyedropper your pen and to eyedropper it, what you need to do is unscrew this like this, okay? So I'm just going to, I'm actually gonna eyedropper this just with water. So we have a little bit of water. Now, of course, you will want to use ink. Now what you will need to eyedropper is a pipette or a syringe, or you could just pour it directly into the barrel, it's up to you. And most importantly, you need pure silicone grease. So what you do is you take a little bit of grease, just take a small dab, like, you can't even see it. You want just a little bit, and what you're going to do is put it on the threads here. So just a thin layer on the threads. You don't want so much that it's gonna like squish out and be all goopy and stuff. You just want a small, like thin layer there. Then take your pipette, draw up your ink, in my case water, and you will just fill your barrel. What I typically do is fill it up until the bottom of the threads. I don't cross the threads. Okay. Then you just screw it back together. Now the thing is, you want to push your ink through. So how you're going to do that is by screwing it almost completely closed, so maybe three turns left, flip it over, and continue. And you can already see there's a drop of ink coming out, or sorry, a drop of water coming out there. So if you're doing this with ink, you, what you're going to do by doing this is, is force the ink through your section and your feed so that it is ready to write. There we go. That's it. So that is how you ink a pilot parallel with a cartridge, converter, and eyedropper. Now we are going to switch over and do a little bit of writing to show you the fun stuff you can do with your parallels. Okay, now I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is show you just basic fun. So there are two ways you could write with your Pilot Parallel, you can do regular strokes, which is just straight with your page, like so. So you get lines that will vary depending on the size of your nib. Now this is the 2.4, but if you were to use any of these, you would get a different size, obviously. And you can also do side strokes, which are going to be much thinner, so it gives you a stub-like look. There's a bit of paper stuck on there. Uh, another thing you can do is, let me just, sorry. Uh, if you turn the plate on its edge, you can write quite thin lines, like so. So, if you wanted to write, you can, ju just to give you a quick example, you can see that you can change the angle to give you different line sizes. So, there we go. Uh, it looks hideous, but the whole idea was just so you could see that you can use it in different ways. So, that is one thing. Um, next thing you can do is uh, something they call the gradation function. Actually, I should do that with two, sorry. 
Now the gradation function is by is done by uh, the capillary action of the inks. So what you do here, you have two parallels. You take the pen that you want your ink to be the base color, and then that goes on the bottom. And then the pen that has the ink that you want to be like the highlighting color, you use on top. So this is on the bottom, this one is on top. This one has a green ink, this one has a reddish ink. So let's just touch it for, touch the plates for a couple seconds. Okay. And then you can see when I write, it's going to have the color or some of the color from the top pen I was using. And it will fade just like a gradation. An ombre. So this was the original color. And this is the, sorry, color of the top one I used, which is up here. Not the most inspiring two colors I have to use, but they were the two that I had inked. I have a couple ink now, but you get the idea. It's just to show you the gradation function. So if we were to flip that, do the same thing, but we're using, reversing the coloring. So this should have more green. And as I continue my lines, it will become more orange. It'll go faster if you touch the plates for a shorter period of time. The longer they hold against each other, more ink will be drawn up. And it also goes faster if you use larger nibs, obviously, because there's just more ink being used up. So there you go. It's back to its original color. The gradation is gone. Another thing that you can do that I enjoy is what I call splatter. So let me show you by, I'm just thinking here, I'm going to write just a short word here. Okay, what I tend to do with my parallels is I make some mess with them. So I turn it on its edge, so the corner is facing the page, and I just tap it. I'm gonna have to use a bit more force. It looks a bit messy, but it makes some fun splatter art. That's it, easy peasy. One of the other things I like to do is I like to mix the inks on the go. So instead of doing that gradation, what I will do is this, which is write my letter, take the second ink I want to mix in there, and I just dab it into the wet spots. And how much you dab will dip, will give you um, you know different amounts of variation. And again, these are probably not the greatest colors to mix, but here we go anyway. When it dries, it gives a really neat dried effect. So I kind of like that. Let me see, I can't remember what I have in this one. This was a green. Do the green and how about a lighter green? I don't know if this will even show up. It might be too dark. Well, it does it does um, brighten it just a little bit. So of course you do that. I think it looks neat. So it's just a fun thing you can do. Another way you could use your pilot parallel. Now, as I said, that was so that was the gradation that I was showing you how to do. Um, it has instructions on like different calligraphy letters and uh, different style. It's very basic, but I think it's a great idea just to start with. Like it's, if you're really new to this, this is fun, super small, very easy to carry around with you. So there's really no excuse to experiment and explore. So let's take a look at that gradation. That was pretty neat. And then the splatter and dipping the inks into each other after they're on the page already. 
So I actually think that's all I wanted to show you today. But you know what? I'm gonna just do one more quick thing before we go. I'm just going to show you the nib sizes in case you're curious about which one you wanna get. So this is the, sorry, that was a bad angle. This is the 1.5. Next up, we have the 2.4. Then we have the 3.8. And now because it's big, I'm just going to use the edge of the plate to write with 3.8. And last but not least, we have the Whopper of a six. <laughs> there we go, I'm just gonna do that six millimeter, which is as I said, it's a Whopper. Sorry, this one is actually out of ink. Um, it was in my cleaning pile. So, there we go. So, there, uh, the, blah, 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 blah. those are the four sizes. If you are not interested in getting all four, maybe this will help you decide on which one you want to get. The 1.5 could be used as a daily writer, but the other ones are just not really. They're definitely for calligraphy and artwork. That wraps up that, and that is actually all I had to say now. So I'll just put these here. I, I have a bit of a parallel obsession, as you can tell. And again, I think they are super versatile. They're quite robust. They're really easy to clean, really easy to maintain. And I think they're really encouraging if you're interested in improving your handwriting or practicing calligraphy or just creating artwork. They're so versatile and so easy to use. So. Hopefully this was useful. If you did enjoy it, I would appreciate it so much if you would like and subscribe. Uh, let me know if, if it has been useful to you and if you are going to experiment or if you already are experimenting with the parallels. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. Um, again, I appreciate your support so, so much. It allows me to 
to do stuff like this and help you guys out and you guys help me out. So thanks again. Uh, hopefully this was useful. We will see you next time. Bye-bye. I pressed start before I meant to.